welcome to vlogmas day number seven in today's vlogmas i'm going to share with you my mouse ears collection i do not have a large collection by any means i see other youtubers who have like 30 40 you know some girls have like 100 pairs of ears i don't I have not been a huge mouse ear fan simply because, well, two reasons. Number one, because a lot of times they give me a headache. I can't wear them all day. It just, it bothers me. And so then when I can't wear them all day, then it's like, what do I do with them? I don't want to hold on to them. I don't want to put them in my bag because a lot of the ears are handmade and they're delicate and I don't want to ruin them. So, and the same like when you want to ride, what am I going to do with them? So it's always been quite a conundrum. And then recently I found this thing. So this is what it is. Here, I'll take it off of my bag. This. This is by a shop called Pixie Dust Chaser on Etsy. And it looks um, pretty simple, but what it does is it has this little button and then you just put your ears, you snap them in there. There's like enough room that it's not super tight. It's not going to mess them up, but they won't like slip out. It'll stay secure. And then this clips on to your bag. So this is the bag. This is my Marc Jacobs nylon mini biker bag. I have done a review on this. I will go ahead and leave it in the description box below. And I have um, used this as, this is the park bag that I use like 90% of the time. I've done a what's in my park bag video, which I will go ahead and link down below as well. But then the ears just hang on like that. Total game changer. Then I can just put the bag like on my lap and the ears are right there, or I can put the bag um, in between my feet. I don't like to put my bag on the floor, so I'll put the bag like in between my feet and um, kind of hold it together, I guess we'll say, so it doesn't touch the ground, but it keeps them nice and secure, and so now I feel like I can start collecting ears. I'm gonna start with my very, very first, no, probably not my first set of ears. The first set of ears that I still own, which are these. These I got on my first trip to Disney World, which I think was in 1992, I believe. And they have my name on them, it says Sherry. And they actually don't fit anymore. I, yeah, it doesn't fit on my head. They're child size, because I was clearly a child when I got them. But I have hung on to them all these years. I found them when we moved a few years ago. They were in a box and I took them out and I have them up in my closet, but they don't stay very well. But when I just pulled them out, I thought it was funny because the price tag is still on them. Okay, do you see that? They were like three, I think they were $3.95. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So I love that I still have them even though I can't wear them, but it's kind of fun. Okay, the first pair of ears that I got are these, and these are by a shop on Etsy called O Toodles Ears, and I'll go ahead and link the shop down below. I love these ears because they are just on a really thin, flexible, I shouldn't say pliable headband, and they are extremely comfortable to wear. I can wear them all day long. They're probably my favorite ears to wear in the park because they're very light and they're just very comfortable. They're very well made. And I like this part is like a, like a velour, which is different. They're not like cotton, I guess. So I love these. She has some great ears and they just feel like a little bit smaller and just comfortable. And I can wear them with sunglasses, which is huge. Also from the shop, I got like almost the same pair with this orange sequin bow. I got these to wear to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Once again, they're very comfortable. I've actually worn them on Halloween a couple of years, but I really enjoy them. My next pair of ears, I know you have seen, they are some of my favorites. They are these Snow White ears. They are from a shop on Etsy called La Bonity. And I will go ahead and link the shop down below. They are beautiful. They are very well made. I love the sequins. I have worn these many times. I will say that these ears do give me a headache and I find that it is the 
width of the band I think these ears are a little bit heavier as well so what I have done which seems to have worked pretty well to stretch them out is and this is totally random I have this like little suitcase I've had this since I was a little girl I don't remember even where we got it but I have this little suitcase and so what I do is to stretch my ears see if I can do this all with one hand okay so I go like that and I will leave them on here for um, usually like a week or two and then I will see how they do and then what I do if they are still not stretched out enough I will add books so this is just a little tiny it's my son's book but I will add the book to the side just like that and I will it it gradually see I think what it does is it gradually will just stretch out the headband and just make it a little bit wider and I think that that has definitely helped I can wear these ears for much longer than I was able to when I first got them so I do really think that stretching them for me is a necessity I don't even feel like I have a big head I everything like caps and and beanies and stuff fit me very well so I don't know but does anybody else have that problem? If you do, tell me in the comments below. But that's what I do to stretch out my ears, which seems to really help. The next set of ears are these. And I cannot wear these without someone stopping me and commenting about how beautiful they are and where did I get them. They are, I think, just fabulous. They came from a website, and it is Magical Mouse Ears. I have the little card that she put in the, um, the package. These are hard to get so I didn't have a hard time getting them what she does is every Thursday I think at 9 p.m. Eastern she opens up her shop and she will put on Instagram how many pairs she has and of which styles and then like at 9 o'clock on the dot you need to be there so what I did is I knew I wanted these I had the computer open and ready I had the website open I was ready to go and I just kept hitting refresh 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 I hit refresh, it was there, I added it to cart, and I checked out instantly. If you kind of hang around and maybe like look, they will be gone. Just because it's in your cart doesn't mean you have it. So I got them, and they were ready to ship. I had them, I think I ordered them on Thursday, I think I had them on Tuesday. They came really, really quickly. They were not cheap. I don't remember how much they were, but... I think they were at least $50. I got these. These were like the Valentine's Day ones. We were at Disneyland on Valentine's Day, so I knew I wanted to get them. But they are definitely worth the money, in my opinion. The attention to detail on these is really just incredible. They are beautiful. They have that thin headband. They're like finished inside. Um, they're very heavy. They are very heavy, and I do love them. They are a collector's piece. I think I just, I adore them. If I could wear them every day, I would. They are heavy. They do give me a headache. And because they're so heavy, they definitely will move. And I don't think they give me a headache because they are, the band is tight because I have stretched it out. I think that they give me a headache just because they are heavy. I would say that they probably weigh like two pounds. But they are definitely a pair that I love and cherish and love to wear so yeah the next pair of ears are these and I recently got these and they're really cute they are um, from up they are like the wilderness explorer ears if you can see on the print it looks like the badges and like just look at the detail on these their sequins can you see that their sequins around and then I like the way that the bow is attached. She kind of did it differently. It feels a little bit more secure. And even the inside, look at that ribbon that the inside is finished with. They're really cute. I have stretched these out already and they don't feel super tight. I got these to wear to, of course, Animal Kingdom on the day that we go there. I have a whole little outfit planned for these. So I thought that they were cute. I really enjoy the movie up I kind of wanted like a balloon pair of ears but when I saw these I felt oh my gosh these are adorable I love them so I'm really happy with them they shipped very very quickly um, they're cute 
And my last pair of ears that I want to share with you actually just came yesterday in this box. And I do like when the ears come and they're in a box. I know that it costs more um, for the seller to get these boxes and to ship them, but the last couple pair I've gotten have been in these boxes. And if they're not in a box, even it says do not bend, a lot of times my mailman will shove them in the mailbox, which really is a problem. So this is the pair that I got. Whoa, whoa, that's so cute. And clearly we have an audience. So um, I got these. These are Fantasia or Sorcerer Mickey ears. Yeah. With the little, Broke. with the little broom and the bow. They're really cute. I got these to wear. I have a, I think I wore it in yesterday's video. It is a Sorcerer Mickey sweatshirt and it has the Sorcerer Mickey hat along with my monogram. So I got these to wear to Hollywood Studios to wear with them. And these are from a shop, did I already say that? Magically Designed. She did a really beautiful job. They did take a little bit longer to get here than what was stated when I ordered them, but the shop owner was really, really sweet and we uh, communicated back and forth and she let me know that she wasn't going to get them out in time, which is fine. They're definitely here before my trip, and I think that they were worth the wait. I really am happy with them, and they will be will be really cute with my little uh, ensemble. That is my Mickey ear collection. Like I said, it is not large, but I did want to share it with you because I feel like every video where I wear ears, people will comment about them, so I wanted to share everything that I had. And in the description box below will be links to all the shops where I got them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe if you have not already. I post every day during Vlogmas, and other than that, I post every... Tuesday, Friday. Come over here and tell me. Tuesday, Friday, goodbye. Look at the camera. Tuesday, Friday, goodbye. Every Tuesday and Friday, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>